this morning I wanted to go check out this place called Dagwood Deli and it's a new place which has opened recently and they do this like pastrami on rye thing that I was super excited about so I got there super early and then I didn't realize they only start serving food after 12 and I was there around like 9 30 10 so I'm a little bit sad um, I might go back there later today but I'm going to Cheston as well. I want to check out the men's Dior store again because apparently they got a few new pieces in. So I don't know if I'll have time to get back to the city to go to Dagwood Deli. It's in South Bank and they close at 4 p.m. today because today is... Today's a Wednesday. I haven't really figured out what else I want to do for the rest of the day. But the main agenda today is to go to the Dior men's store. Alright, so before we head to Chatson, I just got two pairs of sneakers that I want to show you guys. They're two pairs of Jordans, and I rarely talk about Jordans on my channel, but I have this Jordan 6 Infrareds, and these are coming out this Friday. So there you go. I'm not going to elaborate too much because I feel, like, ah! I feel like I don't know that much about Jordans. But those are pretty cool, and then these ones will be super popular. Here I have the Jordan ones in the Turbo Green. And I actually really like the detailing of this sneaker. You can see that the suede here is kind of like a, almost like a distressed wash look, which I think it's really pretty. Here, there is the SP19 Air Jordan 1. Do they usually have this on Jordan 1s? I don't think so. Again, guys, I don't really know that much about Jordans, so I'm not going to go into too much detail. I'm just going to show you what the shoe looks like. The outsole, we have a grey outsole. There's a set of teal laces as well as a purple lace, which I think would look really nice if you do them up. And I'll leave all the release details in the description bar below so you guys can check it out. So we have these ones and then I have one more pair which is the women's Jordan ones in the blue chill. So I'm gonna get that in a second and I'll show you guys. So these are the women's Jordan 1 blue chill that's coming out this Saturday and I think they're actually really cute. It's like a baby blue colorway and it has a patent finish um, all over the sneaker and then over here as usual you get the Nike Air. I haven't laced them up but it comes with like navy blue laces and yeah if you get a chance I'd highly recommend picking up a pair. These are coming out this Saturday so yeah that's all I have to say about these and now let's go to Chadston. So I don't know if you guys can hear me properly because it's a little bit noisy here but I got a little bit hungry so I'm in Fondas at the moment and I got a burrito so after I eat then we're gonna go to Dior so I'm super excited because I walked past it just now and they have the cap that I wanted you know the one with the Elix belt not the Elix belt you know the one with the Elix buckle here it does look a little bit big in photo so I don't know if it's going to be a look I feel like that cap is probably going to be over 1k because I just saw it on the American website so this is the cap I'm talking about and it's get away and it's um, 850 USD but I think it looks super super cool and I saw it on display when I walked past the Dior so just before so I'm so excited and hopefully they have some new things I still haven't gotten the card holder that I really wanted and then yeah some of the jewelry as well looks super cool so I'm just really excited but yeah I just ordered a fish burrito and I'm just waiting for it and then once I've eaten then we can go I need a different size. <gasps> I love it! Oh my god, this is a look, isn't it? So this is the box where the jewelry comes in and I just think it's like the coolest thing. So you guys can see and then it does like all these different shapes. Like, what is happening? Wait, what's going on? But yeah. And then that's the ring. That goes in there. So that's the Dior ring. I don't know what size this one is in. It's a little bit big. Is this a look too? I feel like this is pretty cute. So I have this one as well, and they also have like a tinier one. It's pretty cute. So these are the B23s in the floral print, and apparently they just got it in the men's duo store in Chatsden today, and I think they're really, really cool. Pretty sure you guys know by now that the B23s have been super hype. They're kind of like the Dior Converse sneakers that you see around, but the one with the repeated Dior print, which is the oblique one, has been like 
all over the internet and I've actually pre-ordered a pair and I can't wait to receive mine but my size hasn't arrived just yet but this just came into the store today and it is the floral print and it is part of the Spring Summer 19 collection so according to Olivia which is one of the sales assistants here she said that it is a seasonal piece so they will not have this after this season and I think it's really pretty so I'm trying this on right now and this is a size 39 I'm usually a 38 and it feels alright for me I feel like these sneakers definitely fit true to size so I would just stick to my usual shoe sizing. You can see that's a dual branding over here and over this section here it is translucent so you can actually see your socks through this and I'm wearing like a black socks like an ankle sock so you can see like the difference here. I reckon if I wore like a pair of white socks it would look a lot better. I really like these and they also have like shirts and pants from the collection with the same print and I think it's just really really beautiful. And then also another piece. I'm planning on getting this today. This is a size medium. They come in various sizes and um, I'm not too sure what the measurements are for this cap, but I am a medium in this cap. And if you have the Prada bucket hat, I'm also a medium. So I guess you can use that as a sizing reference if that helps. And then also, I'm gonna, I have this jacket here with me, as you guys can see. It's kind of like a transparent little, like, What's this material, like PVC? So should I try this on? So I've got the, would you call this a jacket or just a shirt? I'm not sure, but it's kind of like a PVC material. I think it's two-toned, right? So it's like a pinky tone here and more of a brown one. To be honest, when I saw it on display, I didn't think it was a look, but now that I have it on with my, like a cold wall pants, I think it looks really cool. Um, one of the details, if you look at the pocket over here, there's kind of like the patch, like the Christian Dior visitor patch over here. They have a few pieces like t-shirts and stuff with this same detail. Overall, this is great. This is a 50, so I think it's like a larger size. And yeah, I don't know where I would wear this to, but I think it's, it's very cool. It's cool, right? So finally left the Dior store, I was there for a minute because there's so many things that I want from that store and I tried on the um, course Dior like a nylon parka and it is so nice but it was like 3.4k so I'm a bit like <sighs> it's a bit much but I did end up buying the cap so it's this one over here and I'm super happy because I've been like eyeing this cap since they like did the runway and I don't know I was kind of like undecided but because it was there and my size was there so I decided to like pick it up I posted on my Instagram story and a lot of you guys said no <laughs> but I ended up buying it anyway I'll make sure that I wear it often so yeah anyway if you guys are in Chadston you should definitely check out the Dior men's store and Olivia is my sales associate and she's super super nice make sure you go to the store and check out the stuff let me know if you have a favorite piece from the men's Dior collection there's, there's just too many things I want uh, but anyway I was in the store for way too long and now I'm like pretty thirsty so we're gonna go get a drink like a juice or something and um, yeah I feel like mission accomplished today <laughs> that's all I came here for really so I decided to wear my new cap so I'm gonna go get a drink now at this place called Eau de Vie I actually don't really know where it is I'm just walking I'm hoping it's somewhere here I just remember it being in a lane I'm pretty sure I'm in the wrong lane and there's a car <laughs> anyway I'm gonna show you guys what I'm gonna have but first I need to find this place I thought I was in the wrong lane but it turns out it's behind this door I know that it doesn't look like much it's at the end of this alley here I can't remember the address but I'll list it below as well so you guys can check it out but it's called Eau de Vie. my friend Alex has recommended this place so many times and this is the first time I'm here and yeah I'm just gonna grab a drink and then I think I'm gonna head out for dinner later but yeah what do we think about the cat okay and then we ended up going to Woolies to buy some snacks. Um, Loki needed the plastic bag to put my clothes in because I'm planning on going to eat a Korean barbecue or Crazy Wings but I didn't want my clothing to smell like the store. You guys know what I mean when you have Korean barbecue you just like smell of it so I'm going to put my clothes in this Woolies bag. Side note, I actually bought this Hello Panda like coconut flavored filling biscuits and they're really really yum. It's super random. It was like on sale for 95 cents and I thought they're really good. So you guys should try this as well. 
Also, I got featured in an article on Farfetch about Yeezy 700 sizing, so I'll link it down below so you guys can check it out. But I'm really excited to be like part of that article. So yeah, anyway, let's get and have some dinner. So we ended up in Crazy Wings because I just really felt like something spicy and they do this like super super spicy like chicken wings as you guys can see. They literally do like skewers and wings. Not just chicken, they do like other stuff as well so we ordered a bunch of things. If you're up for like something super spicy, I highly recommend the Crazy Wings because they are spicy. And I actually love spicy food and I find that like a little bit, it's a little bit difficult. Anyway, I'm gonna stop talking, I'm just gonna eat this. I bought some soy milk from the Asian grocery store next to the Crazy Wings because it was so spicy. Um, but anyway, I think that's pretty much it for me today, guys. I hope the vlog wasn't too long again. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you guys really, really soon. Bye!